YouTube, what's going on, man? We got a 1966 Chrysler Imperial, man. It's one of your favorite movie cars here, man. This is a, uh, come with the Mopar 392, look like. Uh, it's a big car, man. Just look at the beautiful black. What really sets me off is the green tint, like the windshields, the green, even the decal on the engine, like the, the green highlights on the engine, man. That's crazy. The, the engine black is green, like the green and black really sets this car off. Now, if you take a walk with me around it, I like the flat line of the base. Like, it's just a, such a beautiful car. Even the black top windshield, like, this is crazy. Crazy. Now, I, I, I can't remember exactly what movie this was on, but I know it was a couple. It had to be a movie car. It had to be a movie car. Uh, but yeah, man. 66 Chrysler Imperial. Like, this is nice. And look. Even got the... Even got the gun at the bottom. Like, it's crazy. You got a whole gun at the bottom. Wow, wow. Camera on before you show it. Record. Record. Yeah, so what's up, YouTube? Now, this is something you don't see every day. But we got the actual Flintstone mobile in this month. Like... Like <laughs> a Flintstone golf cart. This is crazy. This is like a, a fair ride. You ride find this at the fair or something. This is nice. Hey, look, they actually kind of move. That's cool. That's cool, man. I like it. So we're gonna go look around for some more and just take a look and get some of the most iconic finds in this video. You probably see on TV or better yet. But we're just gonna look around and get some. Alright. So now I want y'all to guess what which show, movie, film, what what is this from? Can you take a, a great guess? It's probably one of your favorite TV shows, series. South by side things like that, man. We got the original. Probably, I wouldn't say original, but it might be. Like this is this is cool. So if you haven't guessed it by now, this is our Stranger Things. Hawkins Police Department, man. This is this is awesome. Oh man, the same truck. It's crazy. So, now you, YouTube, this is one of the classic icons. This is a 1966 Jaguar E-Type Roaster. This here is a very pricey automobile. This is Britain's prime wine of an automobile. So, this is a nice find, even with the removable top. This is, this is good. The spinner wheels, like that's... That's very original. I like the paint. It looks pretty much OG. I don't see any uh, restoration marks or you know different paint chips, anything. This is might be re, might have been resprayed at a point in time, but this is a nice, very nice vehicle. Like, wow. How did this even get here? Like, I don't get it. Then it's a stick shift. Like, this is a definition of a roadster, a true roadster. Like, man. Incredible, incredible. So we're gonna look for something else. So
Benito. Uh, we have some very classy and sassy. sassy at the same time, we would say, but very professional, man. This is uh, we got a double R here, Rolls Royce Phantom. Uh, now these are some big cars, like I only seen a few of these in person, but when you actually up close to one, they are freaking huge, like. Dear God. Suicide doors, like, I can live in this. <laughs> All I need is an ice box and a way to eat food up. Like, this is crazy. Wow. Yeah. The wood grain, the wood grain is phenomenal. The craftsmanship on Rolls Royce is just unmatched, man. It's a prime luxury vehicle right there. Yeah. Let's go to something else. So we have another one here, man. Very iconic car. This is the original Challenger RT. Now this look like number matching everything. The 440 under the hood, nice battery. Look, he's been restored pretty nice. If not restored, very well taken care of. This is only thing new I see on here is the alternator, which that's a wearable part. Interior looks awesome, man. Then you have the little B on the back, uh, the wheels. So this is the original RT. Before anybody knew what challenges were, this was the craftsmanship they were. Like this is very, very period correct, I may say. I like it. I like it. I like it. We have a uh, 1964 Austin Healy replica. Now this is a replica car. Uh, it's pretty much, can't see under the hood or anything. Probably just a body shell on top of a uh, frame in the deal, but most of the interior parts look pretty correct. Uh, very iconic piece also to add to the collection. And these are small, compact, lightweight, most of the type of cars. Get up pretty quick, man. These are awesome. Like, I can't explain it anymore. These are nice little fun roasted coops. Very iconic piece. Very iconic piece. I like it. Back with another one, man. This is a trick out Pontiac Fiero GT, man. Now this is this is fast. Not fast, it looks it look fast, but it, it, it looks like, wow. I can only imagine. They're very custom, yeah, it's very custom. I like this. 427 in the back. Like, awesome. Very awesome. Man. That's a 427 back there, wow. I know this thing moves. That's a Z06 motor back there, basically, y'all. Layman's turn. 427s are what the Z06s would have come with back in the day. So, anything with a Z06 or, you know, 427. Fiero. This is crazy. You don't even see these at all. Most people, they just turn them into kit cars. But they, they are nice when they're restored in this fashion and actually kept period correct them. Well, it's making it a modern day drop. So I respect the, respect the craftsmanship on that.
Yup, and you see it. We have a Celine Mustang. Celine Mustang, y'all. At the arch. I don't see too many of these. But wow, look at that power plant. How much motor, that's my kid, how much motor do you think that is, kid? A lot. <laughs> look, it's a lot. So, this is, this is incredible. Wow, wow. They black on black, I like it. Time is passing now. Not too much on this one, but this is just bring time back, man. These are nice 1959 Bel Air. So I really like these because of the fin, the fins on the tail, as well as the wheels. This color is pretty nice. These just timeless classic. It's just something to recap on, man. This is beautiful two door, four speed on the floor, like man. And look at the tail lights, like. You, you don't see these too often, you know? Just something to look at, man. All right, now we got a 19, what, 20, 30, tw was it 20, 23? T-Bucket Ford Roadster, like 302, man. This is just hot rod days here, man. This is, you don't see these. Like, you don't really, you don't see these at all. That's crazy. Literally, a motor, a steering wheel, and a gas pedal. Look, the, look, the brakes work, yep. Got brakes, so it's legal, 100%. 100% legal. All right, so now we have a 1970 Ford Mustang Fastback Mach 1. It's comes with a 351 option. Uh, very good tires on it. Uh, I like the louvers in the back. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Another iconic classic, you don't really see that much. And it's hard to find one, but reality, they, they are very nice, very nice for Especially with that 351 under the hood, like that's a nice power plant right there. The old school radio T8 Trans Am tires, like that's cool. Mach 1, Mustang Fastback. Yeah, Cobra Jet engine. So, so here we have another timeless class, 66 GTO. I, not to judge, you know, judge edition or anything like that, but reality goes, these are very nice vehicles uh, from the factory. And you just like one of the first vehicles to roll down back once. Like, that's crazy. You wouldn't have thought of that back then, but it, it, it happened. 66 GTO, like, look at the back end. This just looked like somebody just drove it for years and just kind of parked it and drove it every other year. But these, these was famous in the movie for Triple X. If you uh, had any idea or seen the movie with Ice Cube or uh, Vin Diesel. But these nice cars, another another iconic classic. I like, I like. Headlights, you know, front end always got me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. We come here, we have another timeless classic. Take a step back. 1956 Thunderbird. This is like a car I seen in my local city, to be honest with you, but it is. Spring, Texas. All right, that's cool. I know I've seen it somewhere. But these are another timeless classics. The paint, the body lines, like the even with the fifth wheel in the back of it. Like these are crazy 
crazy cool classic cars. Crazy cool. Interior is nice. Like the white wall tires, old school. All the chrome, classic car. I like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, so now we have a 68 Cutlass 442. 442 Oldsmobile engine in it. Uh, this is nice. It's a look period correct, yep. It's like, I can think about it. The blue, but you, you rally CDs, like rally, rally CDs. Two door. I think my grandpa had one of these before I was even here, but he told me about it with the post speed on the floor, man. It's this this is this is iconic. Uh interior like same thing as the roll back, roll down windows in the back. Man. What I really like on these cutlasses from back in the day, the lights in the back, the back end of just a slant, slant option. That was, that's always been cool to me. My eyes growing up as a kid, watching these on TV and stuff. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah, we have a Ferrari here. 550 Marinella, 575 Marinella, I'm sorry. I think the 550 is the same, the same kind of body style too. But this, this is this is awesome. Bad Boys 2, one of my favorite movies, man. Mike Lowry. Yeah, the fourth one, gotta, uh, gotta go see it. But Ferrari. Italian classic. You don't see these too often either. You rarely see Ferraris, to be honest with you. They live somewhere where they popular at, but I don't see Ferraris that often. If you do, let me know where you stay. Like, this is cool, I like this. Oh yeah, I like them. Oh, we have another classic man a 1963 Austin Hill at no reserve like this is crazy like man I don't replica this is a period correct car I know this is gonna sell for some numbers in a hundred thousand maybe like this is crazy I might stay to watch it bid and see what happened but this is very timeless class it even got the happy face stick on it that's crazy but period correct. Man. No muffler, straight pipe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Beautiful. No replica. This is a real thing. Wow. Old beans, man. Now this body is pretty much period correct only problem is the LS swap but I, it's fine if it was the original V12 and now I, you know it's a different story but I, I like this because the doors the doors on this they open up like that I don't know if it open yeah I don't think it open let me see yeah see look that's cool, ain't it? And it got speakers in the interior. They kind of redone it. No clothes, okay? Lambo, y'all. My daughter trying to open the door. Yeah, I'm stuff now. Let me show you. Like that. <laughs> ah, look. Let me show you. Ah. You don't pull up on it, you just lift it. 
See? There you go. And you close it. Want your fingers? Yeah. There you go. Mercy Black Hole. The rap was made this famous. Uh, East End Supercar. The yellow and black interior. Traditional yellow doors. Like, this is a roaster edition, so it comes with the top. The top goes back and comes off. The V10 in the back. Like, I like it. Speed. Speed your friend. This is what you need to be in. The functioning air vent traps. Like, it's a very nice car. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Iconic. Something of every generation. Very iconic piece. 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. Roadrunner, you probably love the, the, the cartoon just like me, but this is with the 446 pack. Like this is a this is a monster. A uh, Dodge World. This is nice. Very iconic. Looks like the interior is uh something like a, a charger swap, challenger swap, but that's that's uh, some new seats in there. So it's it's a nice nice rest on my man I say. So I'm pretty sure it it runs just as nice as it looks. The black paint job, I love I love everything about it. The wheels, uh, it's a very iconic piece with the the wing, like Plymouth the Road Runner. Like you don't see these, you don't see these at all. Not at all. Not with the 440 in them either. Like it's two door 440 car. This is crazy. Very crazy. Alright YouTube, now this is something you don't see, a very unmolested super. I always like this car, it's one of my favorite dream cars by the way. Probably because fast and fierce, but 2JZ, 6 speed, going at no reserve, like Toyota's Toyota, turbo. God, it's crazy. 98. I like it. I like it. All right, man. Now, this is a very iconic piece. Uh, 1983 Duesenberg Phaeton. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. But a built by Heritage Motors. One of... One of 71. And... Very astonishing. Like, this is a, it's a big car. Classic. It got, it said 83, but I'm pretty sure it's probably way before 83. But I'm like, dude, Duesenberg, I had to look them up too. They really are. But this is very nice. Look very correct and everything. From the wood, running boards to the white wall. Oh man, these tires are awesome. Interior. You got two two cars in one, look like. You got two windshields. That's crazy. Right, this is this is huge. Yeah. Alright, now here we have a 62 Lincoln Continental Convertible. Very exquisite piece of your collection like wow dual setup doors suicide doors uh the brown light brown vanilla interior oh this is nice very correct it's like well taken care of very well taken care of hey it, these these big cars man these, these are huge very big cars Get about size for one thing. Gas, who's the flip gas cap? Yeah. All right, YouTube. Here we with another iconic classic. We have a 1997 Viper GTS. Uh, 
These are very poster card cars for a lot of those younger 90s kids, man. This is something you see on your wall. Like, I love these manual transmission. These are always cool cars in my book. Viper is something you dreamed of having. V10 uh, with the blue stripes. This, this, this was time for me. This is a dream car for me back then, man. This, this is incredible. You don't see these. You don't see these at all. Like, wow. Yeah, you know, this is awesome. Look like upgraded headlights on this one, but this. Man, a GTS with the blue and with the white stripes. All right, another iconic piece. Been that club edition, may I say. Cadillac SLR. XLR, may I say. Uh, Corvette Cadillac, pretty much. These are pretty nice. They come with the LS motors. Uh, man, these are awesome. Two door coupe. Very fast Cadillacs. Uh, it's like a hard top convertible, look like. But they, they are nice. They are very nice. Very, very kind of, you know, susceptible to come by, but you can find one, you'll find one. They, they look they look lovely when you get it, you know. Go golfing or something. This reminds me of that. Interior wise. Cadillac feel with the speed. I like it. I like it. All right, now we have a new breed classic. They don't make these no more, unfortunately. But we have the Demon 170 Challenger here. Uh, you can tell if you take a look at the side, you take a look. Uh, you got the fender flares on the side, as well as the drag tire. So everything screams Challenger Demon under here. Like, wow. So this is this is the fastest one that they made. May I say? Doesn't that look like any other Hellcat or anything else? But this is the 170 Demon Edition, even with the new rear wing on the back. Let's take a look at the spoiler back here. Got the new edition spoiler, so that's something new. You don't see those that often. These are fast cars. Straight track purpose. <laughs> I wouldn't be on the street with it. Even got the, the seats are still covered up. Like, this is crazy. Daddy. All right, we have a uh, 1970, 69, 69, I'm sorry, GTO Judge Edition. You will be judged. Uh, I like these cars, Pontiac, man. Uh, this is pretty, this is pretty correct. This one looks nice. Uh, the blue, the stripe sets it off, you know. You got the judge on the side. Now, if anybody can tell me what judge stands for, if I reveal it in the video, you take a guess. It's gotta be with the equipment package. Uh, this come with this one has the 400 in it, 400 small block in it. So this is, you will be judged for that beast under that hood. Uh, I went first. I like the I like the quality. They took care of this car. Besides adding the speakers in the back, this is this is very nice. Man, these are very hard to come by. Very hard to come by. But got one here. Auto Ox Beacon. Twenty twenty four. On to the next one. All right, man, this has got to be the best for last. Uh, Mercedes 300 SL, uh, 1956. This car is a million dollar car. Uh, I showed a picture of the rep replica earlier, but this is the prime goal to what this auction is about, uh, in theory. Uh, Mecham has been around for centuries, for years say centuries but years i wish it was centuries but years and this is the kind of stuff they get here for people to sell and appreciate of what it's worth 
This is a very timeless plastic piece. It honestly ain't got no price tag on it. But the highest bid on this car was $1.3 million. And probably going up. I don't, I don't see a soul stick on it. So the owner's definitely looking for more. As I would too, but this is the finale. Oh my God, this is so, 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 so pristine. Like everything, every detail. Wow. Every detail. It's beautiful. Let's take a moment to look at it. Like. Right in Houston, Texas. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. 